Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. Today we got another fresh one. This is the Webley Fosberry. Not to be confused with the Webley Mark IV. They are very similar. They take the same rounds and the same six round speed loader. Looks like, whoops, looks like this. They are both, they are both break forward, break open, six round cylinder chambered in 455 Webley. What the hell's the difference between the two? Well, we're going to find out. Let's check it out. Shall we take a look at the Fosbury controls? We shall. Left on the trackpad, break it open so you can reload it to uh, put it back in. Oh, you can grab the cylinder and give it a spin if you want. And to put it back in, you can either, I think, no, yeah, you can push on it. Eh, you can kind of, yeah, you can push it on a table a little bit. But you can also give it a flip up and put it back in. Hold up on the trackpad, release the physics. You can give it a whirl, release it, and it'll snap back in. Down on the trackpad, we'll cock the hammer. Goes bang. It is double action as well, so you can pull the trigger and it'll cock the hammer for you. Convenient. And right on the trackpad, we'll push it up forward like that. Which sometimes makes it a little easier to load depending on your situation. So what is the fundamental difference? Well, probably a lot more going on than I can tell, but what is really going on is that this Fosbury will actually reciprocate. This top barrel frame assembly, the top part of the frame will actually slide back like so. Here we go. Ready? Watchy watchy. Watch it slide back. Yep. Whereas the regular Webley will not. To find out what attachments will go on the Fosberry. I'm going to call it the Fosberry. How's that? Yeah, we got a compensator slash muzzle brake. Suppressor? No, no suppressor. I don't think suppressor goes on the Webley either. No, it doesn't. It doesn't go on most revolvers how about the barrel adapter yes you can put rails on there if you're going to be like that of course there's no rails normally so you can't put any red dots lasers or foregrips on it how about a stock of course uh one doesn't fit very well but hey it works just fine take a look at the sights uh oh oh okay well uh it looks like the rear notch doesn't come up high enough you have to get it up see there's the there's the rear notch there it is now if i get it flat i can't see the front post so that sucks um these sites are terrible these are really bad let me compare them to the webley which are not great but at least i there is a notch and i can see the front post with the Rockford Fosgate here. The uh, post doesn't isn't really visible. E maybe maybe we can fix the model on that a little bit. Oh well. Till then, that's what you get. All right, in this alpha build, it looks like the sights on the Fosbury are messed up pretty noticeably. Uh, basically, instead of aiming with the top of the front post, aim with that first giant notch not the top notch the second notch for example instead of going like that you go like that so you've got the bottom half is now your front sight and that'll get you i think pretty good yeah right now these sights are messed up all right six rounds four five five webley here we go Hmm, tens, fives, tens, tens, nines. It's a very odd pattern that I see emerging. Huh. huh. This thing is very random. It's the uh, second revolver that I've seen since the recent re revolver changes where you get just wild shots off to the sides like that. But that's what you're going to get. So 8.83. Actually, sights be damned. It's a pretty good result for a 4.55. Let's try it with the compensator. 
finally got it on the 10 ring and actually got a good result out of it. Got a nine, but I will say that my results have been very random. That is the first good grouping I've seen trying to test with this compensator on there. It's been all over the place. They've been down below, up above. It's very random. Let's throw a stock on here so we can tame this beast. Mmm, 9.17. It feels, it doesn't, that doesn't look like a nine something mm. result, but there it is. Yep, that's pretty good. It just doesn't feel good. It feels do 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 all over. Finally, stock and comp. What do we get? Eight six seven. See, we got sevens in there. It's so jumpy and random, and it's hard to get on target with these bad sights. So, I mean, if you work at it hard enough, you can put together a decent group. But man, this thing is. I don't know, I get, you know, alpha build, alpha build brand new weapon. I think it's got some bugs that needs to be ironed out, but you know, ah, uh, if it was as good as a regular Webley, it'd be fine. Regular Webley is fine, but it's like Webley plus random, <laughs> which is not what you want. Until next time, I will see ya. See, if you take your time, you get a good round. But if you get jumpy. <sighs> so weird. <laughs>